all. So my name is Kimberly and I am a part-time reseller and a entertainment and lifestyle writer. I resell on sites like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. I send things into Thread Up in the Real Real. And today I am doing a haul, but not just any haul. I am doing a Thread Up outlet haul. So if you're not familiar, uh, Thread Up has they have this section where it's like, it's called deals and you can either get rescue boxes or you can do their outlet. And their outlet is things that they've maybe had on their site for a while. Um, their clearance down, they've marked down. And if you purchase from the outlet section, <coughs> you can actually save more the more you put in your cart. So if you pay, um, so say you are in the outlet and you find five pieces, they will take an additional 20% off the reduced price. Um, that 20% off is good on five items to nine. Once you had 10 items, the discount goes up to 30% and that discount applies in up to 19 items. And then if you hit 20, you get 40% off. So I always try to go for the 40% off and I always try to make sure I have free shipping. Free shipping is $79 or more unless you're in one of their new tiers and then it's Middle tier is $59 and it's free shipping. The highest tier, which means you've spent over $1,000 in a year. And that means it's $29, I believe, and then you get free shipping. But enough about that. I did a um, outlet haul because I was reclaiming some things from my one of my last um, uh, selling kits. I don't have access to those kits, but I can print off um, their partner kits. So I've been doing that instead, but I don't love doing that. I prefer, you know, being able to choose my prices, get actual cash, not a gift card. But anyway, I didn't want to pay the shipping part of getting my thing back. And I was in the middle of looking for some new things to, you know, resell. So I placed an order on their clearance section and this is my haul. I actually got two packages, one with just one thing in it, which I've already taken out of the um, poly mailer it was sent in, and then one in a giant box. And let me show you this box because, oh my gosh. Ugh, it's so heavy. Ugh. Yeah. So this thing, I've already crossed my address out so you can't see where I live, but this thing is huge. I mean, it is thick, it is big, it is a lot. But that's what happens when you're placing an order for 20 items. And yeah, I definitely placed an order for 20 items. Actually, I might have placed an order for more. I'm not even sure. Oh my God, that's heavy. And just like any other order, it does have, you know, their tissue paper, their classic tissue paper right on top. Um, <clears throat> I was going to tell you how much I paid, but I don't remember. Hold on, let me check because I'm pretty sure I can pull up thread up right on my laptop here. Um, let me see. So, my order, I placed my order on, I don't know when I placed my order. I can tell you that my order shipped on January 25th and it today is January 28th. Um... My order total was $85.25. And let's see, what else? Yeah, that's what I know. $85.25. Do I even know how much I have? No, I don't remember. Partly because I also had the things that I had sent in. Um, so I won't like show those things to you, but I do want to show you what I ordered from the thread up outlet and I do want to say that the reason I do this is because it keeps my cost of goods pretty low <coughs> while still being some really great pieces um hold on let me count one one two three four five six seven eight so I did I play I I believe there should be 20 items that I ordered which no, actually it's 21. I can't count. 
anyway, 21 items. I don't know if I have them all because I'm actually getting three different shipments. I did get that one, but it, it, on average, my cost of goods when I do this is around $2.75. I think that's around what mine cost this time, but I don't know and I won't double check right now. But let me show you what I got. I'm pretty excited for this one because this is not typical, I will say. Uh, the reason it's not typical is because, again, this is clearance. You never know what you're going to find, and you will find gems. Up first, this is what was sent in that individual bag. It is a, like, pouch. Um, obviously, whoever sent this in, I mean, this thing still has the uh, thing on there. The brand is, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the brand is Rachel Pally. And this thing has, like... A pocket down in the center I don't know if you can see that it zips it folds over and it's like this clutch I have actually sent these into the real real before um this is like the third one I've picked up from them but I mean it's just so nice that I don't even mind posting this myself on like Poshmark or whatever um but I may try and send this into the real real next there's so much in this box. It feels like, even though, like I said, it's like 21 items, so it's not that much. And you guys are getting my first, the first look with me, so I try to choose things that don't have damage or, like, they're describing as in really good condition. That doesn't always happen, so I'm always very careful. I will do a better look over after the video, but I really wanted to show you guys, like, my first reaction and what I got and all of that. So next we have Eileen Fisher. So this is an Eileen Fisher Petite. It's Petite Petite, but no, it's small petite. Um, this is 75% alpaca, 25% silk, and it is this gorgeous like cardigan, which let me show it to you a little bit better. Um, here we go. It has really short like sleeves, almost like a three quarter sleeve maybe. Um, it's a drape front. It's really pretty. I mean, I the thing that drew me was the color more than anything else. It does have some like um, excessive uh, pilling. I expect that it's alpaca, but this thing is so soft, such a pretty color. Even though it's like that petite petite, I think it'll do well. Next we have what do we have J Brand. This is you know, there's the tag. And this is a pair of black slacks. They are a really thick, nice material. I don't know. These are the Super Skinny Odyssey. Uh, they're polyamide and elastane. And they're a size, what size are you? 25. Which, not surprising, that, that is one thing about the, um, the, the, the outlet, a lot of smaller sizes. This is in really good condition. I'll probably send this to the real real, see if they'll take it. I send most of my J Brandon, um, and at two dollars or so, I have no problem doing that <clears throat> because it tends to it does tend to sell over there. This is another J Brands pair. There's that label. This is a pair of pink. Um, I believe they called these khakis, but these feel like pink jeans, so colored denim. These are the J Brand Capri in pale rose. They are a size 27, so slightly larger size, which is nice. Um, I wouldn't have any problem listing these either. I actually don't mind listing this kind of stuff, but I do try and send it in when I can. Not like it's less work per se, it's just that I find it easier. They do everything and they do tend to sell. Another pair of J brand, this is an actual pair of jeans. Uh, this is the... Size. I actually might just list these myself because I like the um, the size on this. This is a size 29. Um, first time I've ever seen a pair that didn't have like the style name right at the front, but these are a very nice pair of um, straight leg jeans. And I like that because, you know, you don't often find this size like in the, the um, outlet or this condition or this style. So it's a winner. Well, in my book, it's a winner. Hold on, this paper is in the way. So hold on one sec. Okay, that took a few seconds because the paper was ripping and it didn't want to be in there anymore. <clears throat> but also it did. 
Next up, we have Clover Canyon. Um, this is a size extra small, and it is just this really pretty, like, uh, top. Um, it has a really pretty floor print. It's kind of a swing top, and I'm excited for this. This is actually accepted by The Real Real, and I have actually sent my Clover Canyon to The Real Real before, um, but yeah, I'm excited that they had that in the clearance, the outlet section. Next, we have another Rachel Pally. This is one of her dresses. I don't know if, there we go. Now, I know this has a size because this was in their clearance section, so it has to have a size, but I'll have to look for it. But it is this really fun, it has this giant bell sleeve and it's this dress, um, kind of a mini dress. It's like a t-shirt like material. Um, it has a nice flow to it and a darker print, kind of a, um, what do you call that? Um, it's got very fall vibes. This is a size small and it's modal spandex. Um, again, I have sent dresses um, from this brand to the Real Real, so I may do that again. We'll see. Next, we have another J brand, which you may see quite a bit of in this haul. This is their skinny leg in shadow, size 25, so another small pair. So definitely sending these to the Real Real uh, skinny leg, obviously. In black, I do send all of my smaller size J brand in because <clears throat> it doesn't really move when I put it in my Poshmark closet. And shocking, we have another pair of J brand, but you really can't see the, the label. Um, it's a size 28, so I may list this one myself. There's the there it is. And these, oh, oh, there will be no telling you what these are. This 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 label is done, but it's just this pair of black straight leg. Um, I think they describe these as skinny, but I do not remember. I just remember this being in excellent condition, and it really is. So I'm happy about that. Next. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. This was fun, and this is going to the real real. Uh, this is a David Meester dress. So let me find the label because it's backwards. All right, so this is like um, kind of a vintage vibes on this one, but it is like a leather dress. It's a size six. I don't think it is real leather. I think this might be faux, but it's the sheath dress and kind of like a brown color with stitching detail it is lined. Let's go look and see if there's a, we do have a label. No, this is polyester, polyurethane acetate. So it's a faux leather dress but it's a really nice one and again this is a brand that is on the real reels um, list so definitely gonna send this one in which i'm excited about i like being able to just send it straight into the real reel next another one i'm going to send right in this is a scotta it's a size 38 and it is this like red pencil skirt kind of pinkish tones um, yeah, I'm trying to see if it has the care tag because I'm pretty sure it's like a linen blend. It does. It is 78% silk and 22% linen. Um, it still has the extra button there. It is really nice. And the thing I like is that the lining has like ease into it. I don't think you can really see it. It's kind of in person. You can really see the ease, but the Escada ease in there. <clears throat> Next. Oh my god, more jeans. Well, not jeans. These are technically the um, khakis. But here's a J brand, size 25. So these are definitely going to sent in. <sighs> it does the style number now, so you got to do more work. Whatever. But anyway, these are just a pair of straight leg khakis. Kind of a whitish color. They're not like that cream color khaki. <clears throat> Next, we have Theory, which no lie, I don't remember putting in my cart. That's okay. So Theory, I think this is wrong, so I'm gonna have to look. But anyway, this is, 
Not that I'm mad at them sending theory, but this is a size small and it's just this really nice like peplum style top. I like this, but since I don't remember picking it, I'm going to have to look at my, my, um, my, what am I looking at? My order. Next we have more J brand. Like I said, there's a lot of it. These have intentional distressing in the fronts, at the knees, on both sides. These are the J Brand Capri Misfit. This is a size 26. So, not the worst size ever. I'll send these in, see what happens, because they are in very good condition. There's no drag at the heel. <clears throat> Next, we have this is also going to be sent in to the real, real. This is Alberto Macaulay, and this is a pair of pants. It's, it is this really fun, they are lined at the top, so like they have a short in there. They have pockets, but they're just like this fun, sheer, is that animal print? Yes, animal print pants. I thought for a second they were like tropical vibes because of the way the colors of it, but no, this is an animal print. I'm excited for this. This is something, honestly, I may list it myself just because I really like the style. And they're an extra large, which, oh my gosh, I can't believe they had that in there. These are made in India. And it's 100% viscous. Viscose? However you say that. Next, we have Lafayette 148. It's a size 8, and it is this really nice, like, cotton shirt that has, um, like, striping. It's a button-down. But what makes this one interesting is it also has this tie waist detail on it. So it's a really cute shirt. Pretty plain and simple, I would say. There's the pattern better. Probably going to thread up. I mean, the real, real. Another Rachel Pally. This is just a scarf. So there's the label. And it is just this really nice check print like scarf. Again, with Rachel Pally being something that the Real Real has accepted for me, I don't mind just sending that straight in. <clears throat> if not, I'll list it. It's an easy list. Another pair of J Brand jeans. These are size 25, and they are the Super Skinny Black Leopard. Because while they are black, you can kind of see it. They have that leopard print in there, which I really liked. I like something a little bit different in my black jeans, so. I'm happy about that. Next. Okay. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I kind of do because OMG, look what I got in the clearance. Lululemon. I am so excited you don't even know. I don't know why I'm excited because I don't really like um, athletic wear. I list it. It's not my favorite thing. But so this is Lululemon. It's one of their tank tops. Apparently there's a size because this was actually listed, listed, but I don't know. There will be explorations and adventures because like I said, this was listed with a size on the ThreadUp website. Or maybe I'll just look on the ThreadUp website because I can't find the label. What else? Next. Okay, I'm kind of like, I know this was a weird pickup, but it was also kind of a nice pickup. So this is Free People. It's a size 2 Free People. And it is this really nice peasant type skirt. It's got two layers, so it has this print at the top. And then in the next layer, it has a different print. So it's kind of like peasant vibes. It has a side zipper. I'm going to have to look and see if this one has the OB number so I can look up and see exactly which skirt this is, but we'll do that later. So I'm excited for this. <clears throat> and one more piece, one more piece. We have Torn by Ronnie Kobo and it is this dress. It is just this really fun ribbed like sheath dress. Sorry about that, my phone rang. Now that was the last item in the box, but there was, well, 
last clearance item in the box. The last actual item in the box was a was one of the th pieces I was getting back from um, thread up from my partner kit, which is this Jessica London jacket. It's this really pretty fall, uh, fall spring Eastery color jacket. It's this nice detail in the back. I have listed this before and I may try listing it again. This is actually a piece that's sold and got returned, so I'm like bummed by that, but it is what it is. But this is what I was able to find going through the thread up outlet section. Guaranteed results, not guaranteed, but <clears throat> I've seen how many people do the mystery boxes, they do like these rescue boxes, 25 piece, the 200 pounds, this, that, and I get it, and I understand, and it's sometimes a great cost, um, cost of goods, but I see the complaints, and I see people not being happy, and that's where I feel like, why not pick what you want and still get that low cost of goods, because this cost of goods is about what some of these other people are paying for things they're just going to throw out. They're not going to flip, so... I'm pretty happy. Obviously, I need to really go through before I do anything, check to see if there's any damage that wasn't disclosed, check to make sure that everything is in the condition that they said it was. I will admit that I would say I have done this a few times. This is probably my sixth time doing this, and every time there's been a flaw that wasn't disclosed, but ThreadUp is great about it. I contact them, I explain, this is the item, this is the flaw that wasn't disclosed, and they will refund me for whatever that item is. And I'm sorry, but that keeps me coming back because I know that ThreadUp will make right and I get end up with good pieces. So, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is my haul. This is... An easy way to get inventory if you can't or don't leave the house. Um, I personally um, really do enjoy going to Goodwill, but this is a good use of my time too. Um, sometimes Goodwill, you you know, you've been there two, three hours, you walk out with nothing, and it's kind of a waste of time. At least this way, I know what I'm getting. For the most part, I mean, ThreadUp isn't the best about, you know, pictures or explanations or descriptions, but that's my job. And that's what makes it easier to pick these up and flip them. Um, I will say that I've done pretty decently picking things up through the ThreadUp um, outlet. I've taken things to buy, sell trades before and made money, my money back plus. I mean, obviously those aren't the best return on investment, but still. I've sent back to ThreadUp um, quite a few times actually. Like White House Black Market pops up a lot in their clearance section and their outlet section, and I will pick it up for two ninety nine or whatever, and send it right back in and get triple, you know. Which again, it's not paying the it's paying the bills in its own way. But if I can list these and I can get. $20, $30, I am happy. Um, it's not everybody's business model, but it works for me. And again, I'm a part-time reseller, so a lot of this is for fun, um, especially doing this. This is fun to me, like finding it online, taking that chance, listing it, and seeing what happens, that's fun. I mean, I'm, I'm partly a reseller because I like shopping, so. I think I did pretty good, but I'd love to know what you thought. Would you have picked these things up? Are any of these brands that you pick up, you buy, you flip, things like that? And what's your favorite piece? I will say that for me, without doing too much research and everything, my favorite piece would have to be, well, one of my favorite pieces is this Ronnie Kobo dress. It is so pretty. <laughs> it's such a nice, nice, like shimmery material. And I just, I'm excited. I've never actually found this brand before, so I wanted to give it a try. And I like that it's a nice, like, sheath dress. And then maybe the other thing that I'm really excited about is the, um, this, the skirt from Free People. 
I don't pick up a lot of free people anymore. It doesn't quite move as well for me. I will pick it up new with tags if I can get it cheap or whatever. But I love their unique long skirts. Skirts like this, I think, are so much fun to sell and find the right buyer for. But that is my haul. I'm going to have to go and try and search down the, the size for this Lululemon, which, again, I can't believe I found Lululemon in the outlet. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so this is my haul, my outlet haul, and I can't wait to come back with another thread up video. I have another one planned where I talk about what I am sending back in in a new parter kit. Um, that'll be coming, and I'll talk about what the results of my last partner kit were. That'll be coming out probably maybe next week. I'm not sure yet. Honestly, I don't even know when this is going up, so I can't say next week. I'm filming this on January 28th. I literally got this box and was like, I'm filming this. I want this because I want to go through it. I want to list it, all that. But yeah. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you, even if you don't like it, I don't mind a thumbs, a thumbs down, whatever. But um, yeah, if you want to see more, stick around. Maybe subscribe to my channel, which is slowly growing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.